morning, good morning viewers, and welcome. This is Pastor Bonfa Safari Wenye, a senior pastor, Abandoned Grace Outreach Ministries, Umoja 3. Welcome. Okay, today uh, I want us to see uh, the last part about entering in God's uh, rest. We saw yesterday entering in his rest and finding our hiding place in Christ Jesus at days when they are difficult, when times are perilous. So today we are, we are looking at the book of Matthew, chapter number 14, uh, beginning verse number 22. The scripture says that uh, immediately Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go ahead or of him to the other side while he dismissed the crowds. After he had dismissed them, he went up on a mountain, mountainside by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone, but the boat was uh, already a considerable distance uh, from, from land, buffeted by the waves because the wind was against it. Remember, we have been talking about entering in his rest. Even when times are difficult, when moments are not pleasing, entering in his rest will be the most important thing for our life. And through the week, we have been discussing, we have been talking about finding his rest and what we can do so that we may enjoy his rest. Today, I want us to measure on this scripture where Jesus releases his disciples and he tells them, let us get to the other side. And the Bible says when he released the disciples on a boat to get to the other side, then he went to mountainside to pray. The Bible clearly says at when the evening came, the boat was a considerable distance and it was buffeted by storms. It is very important, child of God, to, to understand and to know that storms do happen. Storms do happen without notice. Storms do happen even without giving a notice, without any preparation. Storms do happen. But the Bible here says when the boat was buffeted by the storms because the wind was against it, Jesus came to the disciples walking on water. Remember, I told you uh, previously, I told you that it is only in Jesus Christ where we can find salvation where we can find rest, and where we can find a hiding place. Please, child of God, do not forget these three things we have mentioned. We began by talking about seeking him. We began by, by seeing how we can be with him when we are with him. But now today I want you to see, while the boat was buffeted by storms and their lives were in danger, Jesus came to them walking on water. You can see what was a threat to their lives is what Jesus is, is using to, uh, to walk on the same, to save them. So I pray and I speak to your life that what threatens your life, I want you to get it clear, that what threatens your life is nothing before God. What is a threat to your life is nothing before God. Because here the disciples' life are, is in danger because of the storms. But Jesus came to them walking over the storms. I want to give you three things that are very important for you to embrace every time when you are in this life. Every time you are on your mission, on your journey to your destination. Three things I want to mention here. As much as you want to have rest, as much as you want to have success and good reports and good returns, you have to have this. You have to understand the principle of being in the company of Jesus. Being in the company of Jesus will give you a great success, will give you a great victory. The Bible here says, when Jesus came to them walking on water, they were terrified, they were afraid, and they said, oh, Lord, it's a, it's a ghost. But Jesus tells them, be of good cheer. It take courage. Do not be afraid. I am Jesus. So Peter says, if you are the one master, tell me to come over. And Jesus tells Peter to come over. Listen, 
when Peter started, Peter jumped out of the boat and walking on the water, he came toward Jesus. And when he was about to get where Jesus was, he began to sink. Then Peter cried to Jesus, said, Master, I am sinking, save me. And Jesus stretched forth his right hand and took him, he took him, he picked Peter. And together they walked to the boat. I want to give you three things here. Every time you find yourself, you find your marriage, you find your relationship, you find your career, you find yourself in your life, in this journey of life. You find yourself in a mess. You find yourself in a storm. Because I've told you storms are made to happen without notice. Remember these three things. Jesus Christ is your refuge. Jesus Christ is your salvation. Jesus Christ is your hiding place. Jesus Christ will give you rest. Look for a very good example. He will do this thing by giving you these three things. One, he will give you a, an enabling voice. Every time you find yourself in a crisis, in a crisis, every time you find yourself in days and in moments that you don't understand what you can do, remember, Jesus will give you an enabling voice. He told, the, he told his disciples, be, do not be afraid, be of good cheer. It is I. When you are terrified, when you are afraid of something, and somebody comes and tells you, do not be afraid, that sounds encouraging. This Jesus told them, this is what Jesus told them, do not be afraid. So Jesus gave them an encouraging voice. And it's my prayer that Jesus will give you an encouraging voice. He will give you an encouraging uh, voice and an encouraging words the moment you feel like you are letting it go. Number two, Jesus uh, gave him an enabling hand. When, G when Peter was singing and he cried to the master, the master stretched forth to him uh, his hand and he picked it up. He picked him up. So listen, at the moment of crisis, at the hour of disappointment and discouragement, you can call upon the master, you can call upon Jesus, and Jesus will give you an enabling hand, a hand of victory, hand of salvation, hand of peace, hand of joy, a hand that will never disappoint you. And number three, when Peter, when Jesus picked Peter up, he walked with him on the storms. And the two of them walked on the storm, over the storms, uh, towards the boat, and they jumped to the boat, and immediately the storm ceased. So what did Jesus do? He provided an enabling environment, a conducive environment for them to continue. So every time you find yourself, you find your ministry, you find your marriage, you find your life, you find your youthhood, you find your relationship all around your life. Everything is looks and appears like storms. Remember these three things. That in Jesus Christ, in our faith in Christ, Jesus will give you an enabling voice, will give you an, an enabling hand, and will give you a, an enabling environment for you to thrive for you to succeed, for you to go through. So don't beat life alone. Don't try to force things to work by yourself, by your knowledge. All and in all, acknowledge Jesus. Let him uh, provide to you these three enablers. Enabling voice, enabling hand, and an enabling environment. A very conducive environment for you to continue. You can see the storms where threatening the boat and the lives of the disciples. But by Jesus being in their kanban, the storms died down. Let you walk in the company of Jesus. Let you walk in the company of Jesus. For when you walk in the company of Jesus, these three enablers will be part and parcel of you. It is my prayer for, for you, child of God. It is my prayer for you and for me that we will, we will always embrace to walk, to work, to drive, to do everything in life while uh, being in the company of Jesus. Never try life alone. Never try anything alone. Remember during the series, we, I told you that whatever is born of God, whatever is born of Jesus, overcomes the world. So I want to uh, summarize by telling you that walk in the company of Jesus and let him give you the three Enablers, and whatever you'll do, 
you will always have a good return. You will always have a good report. You will always have a great success. For like what Nehemiah said, that when there was great opposition, you may be finding opposition like Nehemiah. Nehemiah got to a place in Nehemiah chapter 2, verse 20, and he said, Remember God who will give us great success. So I summarize by telling you, child of God, do not beat life alone. Trust God, lean on Jesus, and walk in his company. And he will always give you the three enablers. May God bless you. You are there and you are not born again. This is a great moment for you to commit your life to Jesus by praying this short prayer and Jesus will save you. Pray with me. Lord Jesus, I come to you. I am a sinner. I repent of my sins and I receive you as Lord and Savior. Cleanse me by your precious blood and make me your very own. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you. Now that you have prayed that prayer, Jesus has saved you. Look for a nearby church where you can grow in faith and you honor and serve God with your life. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you because you have heard our prayer. We thank you for giving us your word. We thank you for helping us this far. And we thank you for being for us. Watch over your word that has been spoken from the beginning of the week to this very day. Build your people with your word. Encourage your people and give us great success. In Jesus' mighty name we pray and we give thanks. Amen. Shalom. Shalom. See you again.